Hi there, Capricorn. How you doing? This is your February reading for 2020. I am going to be reading from Manziel B. today. I'm going to the Afro Futurist deck on us and uh, and see what Africa can bring up for us and help us move ourselves into the future. I know she can. All righty. Uh, so just while I'm shuffling for you, Capricorn, just letting you know that I will be doing an online class called uh, Tarot for Self-Discovery. So if you're interested in learning how to read tarot cards for yourself and you also want to um, uh, learn more about who you are, do some self-discovery while that's happening, it's a great class to take. And after you, you know, learn how to read yourself, you can read just about anybody. So that information is in the description box if you want to sign up for that. Also, we got the a moon change coming up. I always tell people if you want to start connecting or reconnecting yourself with nature um, and getting in touch with nature and getting in sync with nature, a really great way to do that is by connecting to the lunar cycle, um, knowing what's going on during the full moon and the new moon and um setting your intentions around that it just connects you to your feminine side and your feminine side is what connects you to the spirit actually and connects you to your intuition so for those of you who um who are wanting that for yourself connect to your lunar cycles and i've got some lunar i've got the new moon and the full moon view of course you want to be on the lookout for that all right, so we've had a few cards jump out here. I'll go ahead and take a quick look and then we'll get started with you, Capricorn. All right, so I've got the Emperor here, the Emperor in reverse. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. That's the Emperor. Um, the Emperor is, is that solid foundation. It represents... Um, order it represents authority and it also represents policies procedures remember we were talking in in january about getting your new rules together like setting a new foundation and then from there you would be setting new rules for yourself so the emperor represents that particular realm but in your case capricorn is coming in in reverse which tells me that there is something amiss like maybe you have not quite figured out or got your bearings straight maybe you're not quite um you haven't quite formulated that foundation that you need capricorns are definitely um emperor types um you all are, are really good about following rules and following order but i think in this case what you're having to do is create your own order and your own policies and your own procedures and i think that that's where you all might be getting a little bit off or you might feel a little um um you might not feel as confident in doing that for yourself you know you're used to having the order there and then you can just follow the rules if you need to or or whatever or circumnavigate them or whatever it is that you're going to do but in this case you are setting your own standards you are setting your own rules and in order to do that you have to know what you're doing you know you have to know what it is that you want you have to know where where you're headed and you have to know what you're doing and then once you're clear about that then you know setting the rules is going to be um pretty easy We've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. And whenever I pull the Knight of Swords in this deck, I always see this guy and this communication coming out. Um, and uh, in the Swords, Swords represents the air signs. And air signs are about thinking and communicating. So you need to communicate um, what's happening with you. And I know that sometimes what happens with Capricorn, again, because they're so used to kind of just having everything in a nice little neat box because it's not that neat box and you're still creating the box um, or creating the framework for yourself, you're, you're probably keeping that to yourself. But you need to say that out loud. You need to say, you know what? I'm stuck right here. This is what I'm working on. This is what I'm interested in. This is what I want to happen in my life. Um, but I just can't quite get there or I'm not really sure what that looks like for me. You should say that to people. Find somebody that you trust that you feel like you can be vulnerable with and just say, this, this is, I'm, I'm confused about this. Um, I do know that I need to have some order in my life, but I don't know how to to get that down or get that um, 
situated and you never know people can help you with that so don't be afraid to say the point of confusion and i know how that is because you know how you're in a situation where you want to you want to get the answer but you don't know what question to ask that could be what you're going through right now um but it's okay to 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 it's okay to be there too it's okay to to not have the question formulated you can say that you know what I need answers, but I don't know what questions to ask. And you never know. Somebody might ask a question of you that makes you think, oh, okay, now I know where I'm headed. So don't clam up. Speak up and speak out and speak speak on behalf of yourself. All right, so I have the strength card here. Strength is um, it's just that. It's inner strength that you're gaining in February. Um I'm seeing the I'm seeing you in this uh, that's the other one sorry I am seeing you here with this cheetah on top of this rock in the middle of the air and to me it's about the ascension again we're talking about going through an ascension process and ascension processes um, require us to be still be quiet listen take the mind out for a minute and let the download or the channel come through. You are then a conduit for the spiritual information that's trying to come through to you. And that what's happening to you right now is really strengthening that resolve in you. Um, so if this feels like if you're feeling like out of sorts or whatever, don't don't um, don't get too caught up in this feeling right here. Just know that this is also a part of the process and it's a part of strengthening you and helping you to um at a later time, be a much, uh, you may be, um, you know, an advisor or something for somebody else because you will know how to, um, you'll know how to, you'll know how to put the nuts and bolts together. You know how to do that anyway. All right. I've got these last two cards that I want to address together, even though they didn't come in together. I want to address them together um, because we've got the king of swords here, which could be an air sign. Um, we're talking about Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and then we're talking about the Queen of Wands, which is a fire sign, which is a is Aries energy, Sagittarius energy, or who am I missing? Uh, Leo energy. Um, we've got this energy in reverse, this one upright, which to me says um, that you'll want to be paying attention to how you are balancing your masculine and your feminine side. Your masculine side looks pretty strong, Capricorn. You're thinking, you, you've, you know, you're a thinking person. You're a logical person. Um, you know how to pretty much articulate yourself. You know, um, if somebody asks you a question, you pretty much have the answer for them, even though right now you may not have all the answers for yourself, but you, you have information for other people and you're very strong in that regard. That's your masculine side and you're operating with that just fine. It's the feminine side that is in reverse. And this is where um, your confidence comes from, your confidence in yourself, um, your inner um, strength and your inner, we're talking about strength here, we're talking about your inner strength. Um, yeah, like sometimes, um, you know, you can appear, this is your outward self too. The masculine side is your outward self, your outward appearance. And so when people, you know, see you, they see you in a position of authority. They see you in a position of, um, you know, they may come to you for advice and everything else, but deep down inside, you're not feeling very confident in yourself. And that has to be righted. And I think that, um, that um, this strengthening process in February for you and this process of you being able to speak to your vulnerable side or being able to speak up for yourself or say, you know, I'm not, I'm not feeling as confident as I want to feel. I haven't been feeling as confident in myself. Being able to articulate that and say that out loud is really going to strengthen you. I think you feel like um, it's going to show your weakness, but no, it's actually going to give you the strength that you need because no man is an island. No man is an island. And that goes for, you know, um, things that you're trying to do in life. 
but it's also true of your inner sanctum work. You know, you're not, yes, it's your, it's your internal work that you're doing, but you're still not by yourself. Cause guess what? Everybody else is trying to raise their energy vibration up as well. You're not the only person who feels um, like they can't get themselves together right now or that things aren't lining up um, and that they don't feel solid. They don't have a, they don't feel like they have a solid um, foundation. You're not the only person that feels that way. Not at all. Um, so I really think that this is February, what I want you to do is to say it out loud. You know, if you're not feeling confident, just say so. And you don't have to tell everybody in the world, you know, choose, pick and choose who you're going to communicate with. If it feels, um, if it feels a little bit scary for you, pick and choose who you're going to say that with, pick somebody that you feel, um, comfortable with, or that, you know, has your back, or, you know, who loves you very much. And, um, loves you unconditionally, say it to them first, and then you'll find that, well, it doesn't matter. You can say it to anybody because guess what? They, you know, if you say it, what's going to happen? You think the world's going to fall apart because Capricorn don't have it all together? No, you know, it's really just going to show your human side. It's going to show, um, it's going to show your, your, your human side and then people are going to connect with you even more and even deeper and um i think they're also going to help you i think they're going to help you so you know this um this kind of lack of confidence kind of thing that's a part of that strengthening process too you're going to learn how to get through it matter of fact you are going to get through it you're going to get through it you're going to get over it you're going to do it by communicating what you really feel on the inside I'm seeing a lineage and a legacy in this Eight of Swords here. Um, for me, what this card is, is that all along the way, even before you were born, even to the seventh generation, you know, we had the, the prayers that you pray even into the seventh generation. Whatever I pray for myself, I pray into the generations that come behind me so that they can be fortified by my experience. And so your ancestors have laid some foundations for you and left a legacy of strength and of power with you. And that truth that resides in them, the truth of who you are that resided in them, that they pass down to you, it is now time for you to um, honor and own that that positionality is it's, it's important for you to do that with the nine of pentacles in reverse. I mean, excuse me, the knight of pentacles in reverse. What that tells me is that again, you're still working toward that end. You're still maturing in that regard. And I also see here that you, that the, the immaturity part of it or the, the part that you have to, um, get more clarity on is about the physical. It's about the material. I think you're looking at things from a material standpoint, um, but that's not really where it's coming from. It's not coming from the material. It will affect the material once you, once you get here, as opposed to here, it will affect the material. Once you go from here to being here, which is confident in your abilities, confident in your knowledge, where you're working your, your masculine and your feminine in balance with each other. Um, then that's when, that's when this lines up. That's when you'll actually see how these, all this, all this stuff that's been happening is strengthening you. And then that's when you're going to start to see that order coming together. And for Capricorns, you all have to have order. Y'all have to have order or else you feel you like, mm -mm, I can't be flying around like Sagittarius. Like whenever they get ready, they be rolling out and they don't care nothing about it. You know, certain people in the Zodiac, they ain't got to have all of that. But for Capricorn, they have to have their stability and they have to have their, um, you know, their things. That's what me and my family call They have to have their things, you know. So it's coming, Capricorn. Don't worry. What I need you to do is just speak up and allow yourself to be a little vulnerable in February. I know it seems like that's like, uh, that's the answer. 
in order for me to get out of this situation, I just got to come clean and tell people I'm effed up. Yeah, maybe. You're not effed up, Capricorn. It's not. Maybe you just feel that way. But anyway, just own it. Own it because it's other people that feel the same way. You do trust and believe that. All right. Don't forget about the class Tarot for Self-Discovery. Don't forget to connect to your lunar cycles. If you need information, you know it's in the description box. If you want to take the deeper dive, you know how to reach me. I'm at Carrie, K-E-R-R-I, at wooingnature.life. As always, I hope you have a great, great February and you're having a wonderful life.